Hello everyone, welcome to the 80sslashers.com YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, I thought we would take a, a quick uh, review um, of Sleepaway Camp. Um, I figured I, I would talk both about the film itself and the actual Blu-ray, what, you, what you'll get if you buy this film today. Um, so yeah, so first off I'll just talk briefly about the Blu-ray. Um, this is a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack uh, released by uh, Screen Factory. Um, it's been out for quite a few years now, um, so a lot of you may already have this. Um, but this is a really nice package. Um, this is the collector's edition. I it comes with a slipcase. I don't have. Um, I didn't get the slipcase with this one. Um, but basically, you just get different artwork, custom. Um, um, artwork that came uh, that was commissioned by Screen Factory um, that is the option on the inside here as you can see um, behind the disc here you get the uh, that's that's the alternative the alternative artwork um, it's nice it's really nice but as a as a retro fan um, I always prefer the original and this is fantastic original artwork so uh, so yeah this is what I what I choose to display um, yeah as you, as you saw inside there is um, you get the Blu-ray and the DVD, so which is which is nice to have. Sometimes you can't play the Blu-ray if you have like a computer or whatnot. Um, so yeah, it's a good combo. Um, the, the special features on this, it's it's pretty good. You get like a um, it's a new 2K scan of, of of the original camera negative, so it looks fantastic. Um, it, I don't I can't imagine it ever looking any better than, than, it, than it does on this. So um, this is obviously the version to get if you can. Uh, there's two commentary tracks. There's the original commentary with the director and some of the actors, and there's a new commentary um, with uh, Felissa Rose and some other actor, um, who uh, Felissa Rose, of course, plays Angela in, in the film. Um, then you get some of like, the generic special features, you know, some interviews, um, scrapbook, theatrical trailer, stuff like that. Um, but there's also a short film, Judy, uh, by, by Jeff Hayes. And, um, yeah, that, that, it's great. Judy's like the mean girl in this title. So he's kind of like a follow up to her. So it's, um, yeah, this, this is, this is a great package. It's, um, region, region coded A. Um, whether or not it plays in other, I, 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 I couldn't tell you. I only have a region A player. So, um, so yeah, there's that. So yeah, so um, definitely a good, definitely a good Blu-ray to have. Um, yeah, of a of this classic eighty slasher. Um, so yeah, so let's get on to the movie. Um, yeah, so Sleepaway Camp released in nineteen eighty three. Um, it it's definitely one of the most infamous um, slashers in in the entire genre. Um, the main reason for that, of course, is due to the um, the ending of this film. Um, now, like so I, like most of my videos, there there'll, there'll be spoilers. I'm, I'll, I'll try not to get into too many things, but with with the ending of this film, it, it's kind of hard not to talk about it without doing it justice. So, um, so yeah, the ending of this film, um, we'll get to it in more de detail later. But that that really is what made this film stand out and just so remembered by most people. If, if they don't remember anything else about this film from watching it when they were a kid. They always remember the ending. Um, it's just one of those films. Um, but yeah, this film, um, I I really like this one. It's it, it's a camp slasher, you know. So that like you have like the Friday the Thirteenth, uh, uh, the Burning, Madman, all those ones that take place at a camp. Um, but this one, this one is different. It, it feels it just feels different. There's I don't know if it was intentionally done or what. Um, but it doesn't really follow. It doesn't really follow the same formula as the other AD slasher, um, especially the the camp, uh, the camp AD slasher films do. Um, there's some similar stuff for sure, um, but just the whole feel of this movie is just. It's odd. It just has an odd look in like the dialogue and just everything about this is just a little. It's off. It's. It it has um. 
it's kind of a disturbing film. It's 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 actually a really disturbing film. Like obviously the ending, which which we'll get to, is super disturbing. But not just that. Like all throughout the film, there was just many different subtle layers that just make this film really strange. Um, some of the topics that we get in this, there's like there's pedophilia. Like the there's like a, a camp chef that like the cook, the camp cook, is a pedophile. Um, he's talking about these really young underage girls, and and some of the the words and the dialogue he uses are just incredibly uncomfortable. Um, and then he goes on to attempt to physically assault one before he's interrupted. Um, yeah, it's just stuff like that, like assaulting young children. It's just something you don't get too often in movies these days. And um, yeah, they they went right at it in this one. Um, and. <sighs> Yeah, even even the kills in this, um, the the kills are disturbing in its own unique way. Mo you know, most slashes they have like you know like the people getting their throat slash axes, heads crushed, all that stuff that's it should be disturbing when we see, but we're just so desensitized to it that it it just it it's kind of normal in these in these films. Um, but in this one, it's really odd because. A lot of the kills, they're they're off screen. They're not they're not super graphic. Like they show you like the after effect or what, um, but it's the it's the nature, it's the nature of the kills in this that are just so, they're mean spirited and just kind of disturbing. We have, um, we have like a kill where, um, well actually sorry, it's not even a kill. It's it's the, it uh, when the cook he gets like boiled. Like with the, the boiling water for like the the corn the corn boil, um, and it's just just a terrible thing to do to somebody, um, especially it, it's almost worse that he didn't die because it's he has to live like that. He just burned right to his right through all his flesh and oh, it's just brutal, terrible. Um, and then we see someone getting murdered by hornets or wasps or whatever it is. They they drop like a hornet's nest in a bathroom stall and this guy again it doesn't show it as it's happening but it shows the after effect of his dead face and like the the open sores and then oh it's it's brutal it's terrible what a what a terrible way to die um you know getting stabbed or something like that something that's pretty instantaneous is one thing but being eaten alive by hornets is just oh boy really really nasty way to go um and then there's, um, there's a curling iron. Now, we don't know what is specifically done with the curling iron. We see the killer lift up the curling iron and then put it at the girl and we hear screams. What she did with that curling iron, I don't know. Um, it kind of leaves your imagination to run wild and just, oof, man. Um, but yeah, there's just like an odd meanness and edginess to these kills, you know? Um, it's just really disturbing. Um, another aspect of this that is, again, it, it's also quite disturbing is the, um, the treatment of children in this film. There's, I believe, at least four deaths that occur to kids in this film. Um, at the beginning, we see the after effects of a child who gets chewed up by a, a speed, uh, like a motorboat engine, um, which, which, you know, you see like the tore up life jacket, which, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's terrible. Um, but then the worst part of it is later on in the film, um, a group of kids, little kids, like this isn't like the 13, 14, 15 year old kids. We see, uh, I think they're like, they're probably under 10 years old and they're they're camping with their counselor in the woods on like a like a camp out uh, sleeping bag type camping um and we see the after effects and the killer kills all the kids and they're in their sleeping bags so the killer walks up with an axe and chops them to death while they sleep in their sleeping bags <laughs> it's that like that super disturbing and you're like, oh, wow, most times when people get killed on these movies, they did something really bad. Well, these kids, what they did, when they were at the lake, they threw sand. 
at someone, they, at the killer. They, 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 they took sand from the beach and they threw it on somebody and it got them chopped to death in their sleeping bags with an axe. Brutal. It's like this movie, it just pulls no punches. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's wild. It, it's, it's, it's great. Like you, you see things in this you don't see in most. It just has that, that weird edge to it. Um, yeah, and then of course, like I said, we get to the the ending, um, and the ending in this film is just it it's it's wild it, it's completely wild. Um, you know, it, you see a reveal basically. Like I said, the, the spoilers for this is um, the main character Angela. She was for after the tragic boating accident at the beginning of the film. She was raised by her aunt Martha, who is. I forgot to speak about her, but she's really, really a messed up character. Um, but yeah, she's basically a boy who was raised as a girl because Aunt Martha already had, um, already had a boy, so she want wanted her um, orphaned nephew to be a girl, a daughter. Crazy, it, it's messed up. Um, so it obviously causes Angela to, to snap and go crazy and start killing everybody. Um, but yeah, the reveal at the end, it's just beautifully done, because you don't, upon first watch, you, you don't know, um, there's no hints that this is coming, you know? Um, there's lots of hints to it, the movie, that this is a messed up movie, like, what, what were we expecting? You know, we had pedophilia, we had child being killed, um, we had attempted assault on a minor, like, there's all kinds of crazy crazy stuff going on so it's not shocking that that's the ending we got um but there was no obvious hints that you know this gender reveal um was coming so when it happened you just it just blew you away and it was like the last frame of the movie you know just like it just froze on that and it just it ended and you're just like what did i just watch it's um very memorable um so yeah this is this is a movie if anyone who's a fan of this genre They've, they've probably checked this out. They've probably seen this movie. Um, but if you haven't and you're watching this, I just kind of ruined it for you. So my apologies for that. But you should you should check it out before you watch this. Um, but yeah, man. Sleepaway Camp. Um, it's one of those titles. This is I watched this when I was 12. I believe the first time. My brother had a copy on VHS. I snuck into his room when he wasn't home one day. I watched this movie. And... <laughs> I just, you know, I don't remember the details of the story. I don't remember, you know, much about that day when I watched it. You know, it was a long time ago. But I remember the feeling I had. It was like a, it was like a memory that stuck with me, but it was like a feeling. And I just, I just sat there and stared at the TV when it was over. And I'm just like, what? I was so confused. I was like, what did I, what did I watch? What is happening? What happened? And it stayed with me for days and days. And then... As I as I grew up, every time I would see this movie, if it got referenced or whatever, it just brought me back. It just it was so effective when it got me as a child. It just stayed with me, stayed with me my entire life. Um, so when you get a film that can do something like that, it's really remarkable. Um, yeah, and I think it's just like it, it's just because it was just such a disturbing movie. Like I said, it wasn't just the ending. The, the ending is super disturbing. But um, like I said, to go back, Martha, Aunt Martha. She just freaked me right out. All the scenes with her, that kind of like the flashback scenes, um, just super freaky, man. Like her, she just, just the look of her and the way she talks, she like asks herself questions and then answers them as if she has like a couple voices in her head. Um, yeah, she's truly a frightening character in this. Um, yeah, so Aunt Martha is, uh, just one of the, the elements that just make this whole movie super disturbing. Um, yeah, so there's not much more to say without getting into too much detail. I just wanted to keep this a nice brief review. Um, I wrote a piece on the website. Um, basically, a little, most of the same stuff I just discussed here. A little more in-depth. Um, just why I believe that this is actually the most disturbing 80s slasher ever made. Um, so yeah, so if you want, you can go over to the website and check that out. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So, 1983, Sleepaway Camp. Um... One of the best. One of the best in the, in the entire, uh, entire genre. Um, so yeah, so definitely recommend it. Um, out of 10, I give this a 9 out of 10. Um, it's, it's just phenomenal. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so 
All right, so well, thanks for thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. Um, until uh, until next time, see you later.